at the parish level straight to the community level. So for example, if he will be visiting a particular area, he will speak to someone from the parish disaster committee, to include myself, where we will get assistance from community members so that the project can be successful. And the retrofitting project in the parish could be described as successful because not only have residents got new roofs, a stronger sense of community has developed. And Geraldine can vouch for that. The experience here was very nice. And the, the community, they have a community spirit that they work together. And that was good. Regardless, I did not get anything to work on my house. I still enjoy what, what, what happened. The PDC coordinator has seen it too. I really see the synergy, even in terms of um, there being tour guides, um, in terms of identifying the beneficiaries and so on. I see the synergy. They are really interested. The project is a good one. Hurricanes are likely to occur at any time, and we're still in the hurricane season, so be prepared. And pick up a copy of the Safe Roof Retrofit Booklet. Call ARDPEM at 928-511124 or visit the parish offices. Join us next week as we continue to look at projects in the ARDPEM DIFID Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. Coming to me roof, you should have make it hurricane proof. That's right. You know a hurricane come blow off your roof. You have to make it hurricane proof. Yeah, I tell you. you. See the water where you did that to sweep out hurricane proof roof could a key. If you live in any of these communities in eastern Jamaica, it's likely you've benefited or know someone who has from the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. Fly out, migrate without a visa. This is a project of the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ARPEM, and the Department for International Development, DFID. The recovery program has not only set out to retrofit roofs to make them more resilient to high winds and torrential rains, but to ensure that you learn as your roofs are rebuilt. So what have you learned? Hear this. No, I and I is living proof that you must have your hurricane proof your roof. Me lose my roof. The secret to making your roof hurricane proof lies in the construction. As you speak to carpenters and builders, once you mention disaster, they tell you about hurricane straps. They tell you about holding on. What I'm not hearing coming through are the other techniques, the color ties, the using of the hold on bowls and um, you know, making sure that your fascia and those things that are critical for the holding of the roof. I'm not hearing that surface as much as I'm hearing the hurricane straps. Roofs are usually held together by five major connections and these connections are between the wall plate and the walls, the rafters and the wall plate, the ridge board and the rafters, and the roof sheets or shingles and the lats. There are five priority activities you should carry out to safeguard your roof against hurricanes. Priority one, increase the number of zinc nails or screws that you use to hold down the sheeting. Make sure there is one every other corrugation along the edge of the roof and one in three for the middle. Remember to use fillets. If you've had your nails pop up, just to go back through your roof and just put a bit of flash band on the head of those nails will keep them from popping up and actually keep the timbers underneath from rotting. So you're saving just with simple cost, you're able to save an entire roof. Priority two, this may involve putting on more laths. Check that they are not more than two feet six inches apart. Closer laths give more places to put in zinc nails. Not only that, closer laths put less stress on the nails holding the lath to the rafter. Priority three, neaten up the edge of the sheeting, as this is where it often starts to come off. Put in the edge boards, wood or metal cover strips. Use extra zinc nails where the roof overhangs the wall. 
people don't think about hurricane straps until a hurricane comes in. Priority four, ensure hurricane straps hold down each rafter where it passes the wall plate. Check to see that the ones near the corners don't get missed. Priority five, if your wall plate is held down by bent wall steel, has joints or has termite or rot, strap it down to the wall over the top or strap the rafters to the wall bypassing the plate. Priority six, fit collar ties between every other pair of rafters to hold together the two sides of the roof. The wind will try to lift and separate the two halves. Odpem, through the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program's public education campaign, wants Jamaicans to know how to properly build timber roofs. Well, there are two, two, two ways we can see the benefits coming through um, for the self-help processes and a lot of that exists still in the rural communities where persons try to work on the house themselves they may have a basic knowledge of construction and try to get on the roof try to to build a, the homes this will provide them with with specialized information as to how to do it and how to do it well they the beneficiaries now or the persons who would have paid a carpenter to, to build a house now have an understanding of what to look for whether or not fillets are there the spacing of the rafters the design of the roof um, or whether or not hurricane straps are put in place so they do benefit in, in, in two ways from this public education campaign over the past 15 years Jamaica has seen an increase in the frequency and intensity of hurricanes timber roofs are particularly vulnerable so you need to know join us again next week as we continue to look at the work taking place rebuilding and retrofitting in the Aunt Pem Diffid Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. Water coming to me roof, you shoulda make it hurricane proof. That's right. You know a hurricane come blow up your roof. Gustav might not have been a hurricane, but the tropical storm brought winds that caused devastation worthy of one. When the rains and the winds ceased, over 2,000 households were severely affected in the eastern end of the island. 400 houses were totally destroyed, and another 1,500 severely damaged. The elderly disabled persons and pregnant women were among those severely affected and who had very little or nothing with which to put the pieces of their homes back together. The needs of the 400 were dealt with by the government. The needs of the other householders are being addressed by ODPEM through the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. However, the program would not be possible without the assistance of the Department for International Development, DFID. Two of the organization's representatives went on tour with ARPEM recently to check on the progress being made. We caught up with them at Crystal City in St. Thomas. The work that DIFID does is about um, reducing poverty. And this was a catastrophic event that uh, destroyed so many people's houses, their livelihoods, and we thought that it was very important to be able to contribute to the international effort to help um, to help the people who've been, whose houses have been destroyed by Hurricane Gustav. DFID manages the United Kingdom's aid to poor countries. 500,000 pounds, approximately 70 million Jamaican dollars, is being pumped into the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Program. While the project primarily seeks to retrofit roofs, in extreme cases, housing units are provided for the most vulnerable. The house being worked on belongs to Winston Scott. He's lived in Crystal City for some time now and has been affected by every storm and hurricane that have hit. Well, the last time from Ivan blow, it blew down flat, mash up and everything. So I saw him could help me, I forget to have some people who really make it up about that one away. Yeah, and the next one come blow it and then go and then shake it up. That um, should be true again. So when rain fall, the rain is blowing the water for me. Mm -hmm. And the top, come from the top, I have to move the, move the bed in the middle.